The 2008 Swarco Raiders T-Roll reached the peak of American football in Europe by winning the Euro Bowl title. It had been the goal for the program's entire 17-year existence, and their dramatic 28-24 victory in coach Jeff Buffum's final game meant the silver and black could now celebrate being the best in Europe. With the Euro Bowl 2008, I mean, that was pretty much the, the cap of uh, our season. I mean, that's what, that's what our, our real goal was, to be number one in Europe and to win the Euro Bowl. It's something this team, this organization has never done. The Euro Bowl is sicher das, das höchste der Gefühle. The Euro Bowl is sicher das, das am schwierigsten zu erreichende im, im europäischen Football and is sicher die höchste Bestätigung eines jeden europäischen Clubs. In 2009, the Swarco Raiders began right where they left off, this time under new head coach Santos Carrillo. With convincing victories against some of Europe's finest football teams, the Raiders made their way to the final. Their opponent in Euro Bowl 23 would be the Flash from Paris. The Flash have more than a glimmer of understanding of the magnitude of the game. You got pretty good French, French football teams, you got pretty good Austrian teams. Uh, but I think playing the Euro Bowl is, uh, is another level of football, definitely. Uh, and, and I say that because we, went, we won many French championships, but we never won a, a Euro Bowl championship, which means a lot. When I talked to the head coach here uh, at the Flash, uh, he made clear to me that uh, one of the goals of the season was to be, first of all, national champions uh, for the fifth time and win the Euro Bowl. That was clearly the goal for the season, so it is not a surprise for us to be where we are now. It's going to be a very, very tough game. They have a lot of great players, a very good coaching staff. Um, they have a lot of players that played in NFL Europe, a lot of players that played in uh, college ball in the States, um, and their French talent is very, very good. So, uh, you know, we're, we're just a small little, you know, town in Austria. And I mean, it's Paris. Football-wise, you know, it's it's uh, we got a great great skills and we got great athletes at every position, and those athletes bring bring carry all the other guys with them. So we got key players at every position, and that's experience. And so I would say experience is our strength. So we're gonna try to play with it and try to avoid to do mistakes. Uh, they're not a team that's going to try to trick you. They're a team that's going to say, hey, come here and beat us. They're going to play their base defense and say, are your players better than our guys? And I think that's why we need to, number one, have a good game plan. And number two, we need to execute. And there's going to be a moment in the game where someone on our team needs to make a play. And it's going to be there. And if we make it, we'll be Euro Bowl champs. If we don't, we'll be saying what could have been. And that's the exciting thing about a game like this and playing a good team like Paris where they're going to push you and you're going to have to raise up your level of play to beat them. And the level of play by the Raiders already at a very high standard heading into their Austrian Bowl semifinal against arch rival Vienna Vikings. Before that game, the Raiders' offense had scored on 15 consecutive drives. No one could stop them. The Silver and Black raced to a 21-0 halftime lead and seemed poised to be playing in two championship games. But in the fourth quarter came the disaster no one imagined. The Vikings began to come back with big plays from their young quarterback, Christoph Gross. With a minute and a half to play, the Raiders still had a 21-8 lead, but Coach Carrillo suddenly felt the pressure. A Viking touchdown and onside kick set up one final play to decide the game. With the crowd on its feet, the Vikings would convert for a one-point victory, sealing the game on the PAT with four seconds left. You know, words can't even explain what the loss to Vienna was. I mean, we were figuring we were already in the, in the Austrian Bowl, and our goal had been to win both Euro Bowl and Austrian Bowl, and to have it slip away um, was so frustrating. And you, you can't, you, there's not a reason why that happened, but all you can do is take the loss to Vienna and move on. Use it for, for fuel, use it for motivation. And, you know, if, if it took us losing a game like that 
to be focused and to win their Euro Bowl than maybe it was meant to be. The Raiders prepared for the Euro Bowl as if it were their destiny. The team practiced harder than ever. A steady rain fell from the sky, but nothing could deter them from their ultimate goal of the season, the Euro Bowl championship. The team turned to seasoned veterans to take the lead. Linebacker Mario Rinner, receivers Andy Proler, Jakob Diplinger, and tailback Florian Grein. They had been there before and knew what they had to do. The team would leave nothing to chance, preparing harder than ever. The coaches designed an offensive game plan that focused on getting the ball to two of its big playmakers. Number 26, Florian Grein, and number 7, Matt Epperson. Epperson had amassed more than 1,100 total yards and 14 touchdowns that season, and was explosive after the catch. On the ground, Florian Grein had been equally effective, racking up nearly 800 yards and 12 scores. These two would be the key for a high-scoring offense that would need every point to win the biggest game of the year, the Euro Bowl.